If you're looking for the most performant way to use Phone Awesome in your project, custom subsetting might be the way to go for you. But before we show you how to create your first subset, we should probably define some terms like what is a subset? All right, now a subset is like a miniature version of Phone Awesome that only comes bundled with the icons that you choose. If you're only using 10 icons on your website, your subset will only contain those 10 icons, not the thousands of icons available in Phone Awesome. Now, you'll still get all the utility and styling options of a traditional Font Awesome installation, but your site will run much faster. Now, there are a few ways to subset in Font Awesome, so we recommend checking out the link to our subsetting documentation to help you figure out which one is right for you. So if you've decided custom subsetting is right for your project, here's how to get started. From your kits page, select the one you want to subset. Let's try Goonies here. Next, we'll go to our settings tab. Now you'll want to switch the subset option from auto to custom. Subsetting will work if you have kit set to latest 6.x or when you've selected a version above 6.4.2. Looks like we're good here, so let's scroll down and save. Double check. Yes, that's what we want to do. All right. At this point, all icons have been removed from your kit. It's basically an empty project. Now we'll head over to the icons tab. Here you'll be able to see all the available Font Awesome styles. Let's click on the style we want to select icons from. How about Duotone? When you click on a style, you'll see a window pop up that will allow you to browse or search for any icons you want to include. Now you'll be able to see the selected icons you have in this tab right here. How about we add a few more? Let's see, Camera Retro. Uh, hippo, they're cute and murderous, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, ray gun, awesome. Now we have some more icons added here, and we'll just save this upset. And you can repeat this for any style you want to include. Once you've picked the icons from all the styles you want to include in your subset, you'll have your very own tiny version of Font Awesome, and you can use it in any of the ways you normally use it in your projects. All right. Now that you know how to subset kits, go make something awesome. Font awesome, go make something awesome.